Hey everybody, it's Lara from Lara's Art Corner. I know it's been a, a long time, um, but I've been really super busy and the pandemic and it's just been a mess. I don't know how you guys are handling the pandemic, but I don't do that well with it. Um, it even affects, I, I just, I say I wanna go down and and do some art and then I start doing other things and then by then I'm I'm done. I don't want to do anything else. So it's hard when you're running a business and you have all these different products you gotta keep in stock and fill and, and so it's just been really busy. So with Black Friday and uh, Christmas, I was giving out little gifts with everybody's package so I had to wrap all those individually. So it's been very hectic. But anyway, I hope by now, some of you have gotten your Christmas gifts inside your orders and I hope you like them. Um, but it's Christmas, it's New Year's Eve. Oh, I almost said Christmas Eve. <laughs> it's uh, time to take a shot. From the traveling artist to you, we wish you a happy new year and a prosperous new year. This is my boyfriend. His name is Don. Don Julio. <laughs> so that should make me not so camera shy. We'll see. All right, I'm gonna take you down here. And I started, <clears throat> hope you can see it. I started these and the, the bottom half is concrete and the top is resin. And so now I have to put a top coat on them and then put some more waves in there. And then I have some other molds down here. I have a starfish mold. I did one of these in kind of a, it's like a semi-transparent aqua color with I put gold around the, the edges and put some gold glass glitter in there. <clears throat> so this one's gonna be orange. And I didn't have any of the orange um, tint I seem to have misplaced my tints, my sample tints, tints that Susanna had sent me. So I'm going to use um, this one from, uh, oh, what's that one from Ireland? This is from Ireland. The Mirabella or something like that. Anyway, I'm going to use that. Um, I'm also going to use the clear and the white for the waves. And... Um, if we have more time, then I'll do some other colors. <clears throat> so I have the resin. This is the Platinum 360. Super excited to try this out. And I have the two parts in here. I just need to give it some stir. So yeah, um, you guys are going to have to comment um, what you've been doing with your pandemic time. I'm still working full time. I was going to go another year, um, but I just, I think it's time for me this year. I think I'm going to be done. Um, I can focus more time on the business, not feel so tired, you know, because I work eight hours and then I come home and I'm filling products. Or filling orders and I mean we do it we have to cut off the time that the orders come in at 8 o'clock otherwise you'd be up till um, you know midnight filling orders if we let them come in through th to 8 so or after 8 so <clears throat> anyway so I think that's what I'm either gonna do that and focus more time on on the business or um, I might take a part-time job. Um, 
I don't know, it, school is just not the same as when we went to school. And, and I hate to say it, I truly thought this was the most rewarding job I ever had. I work with kids with autism and they have been very well, but I have behavior students as well. And I only have one that is in one of my classes, but I always uh, try to make a difference in those behavior students' lives. And I had one student and he is so smart. He is so, so smart but he has got a mouth on him and he's got some anger issues. And I haven't got down to the bottom of it, but um, he will tell a teacher to F off and um, yeah. You know, how, how do you think you can feel in front of a classroom of students and, a, and one student say that to you? It's, it's quite embarrassing because you know, there's nothing you can do. You can't cuss back at them and that's not going to solve the issue anyway, but still, I mean, you know, um, yeah. So I still will work with him when I get back and try to get him back on track again. He was doing really good with me and he was getting all his work done. <clears throat> and um, I think I touched a place in his heart and he was telling me about how his grand grandma had COVID and that she died. I think she either died or yeah, she did die. She, and so I got these tears in my eyes and he noticed them right away. And he's like, Miss Usher, what, why are your eyes getting red? And I said, well, because it, it you know, your little story there touched me, you know? So Anyway, and from then on, he was working for me. He was doing everything he was supposed to do. And again, he's smart, he can do the work, but he refuses to do it now. So um, I'm gonna see if I can get him back on track, but you just never know with these kids. Um, sometimes I wish I could just adopt all the ones that are having issues. And I know some of it's at home, you know, um, and, you know, I mean, how many parents let their kids go around cussing kids, I mean, teachers out, you know? I'm sure he's doing that at home, too. So, anyway, um, enough about that. But, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to, to just retire. I turned 62 in January, next month. And, um, <clears throat> so still haven't decided what I'll do yet because I'm going to finish out the year so I have a ways to to think about what I want to do if I want to um, get a part-time job or draw my social security whatever so I'm not worried about that right now so let's get on with this I am going to I have a little cup here it's got some angel white in it I'm gonna set this. This is a a thinner resin. I can tell by you, you can see it's kind of it's thinner. So I'm gonna let it sit here for just a few minutes. Um, meanwhile, I will go ahead and put the clear on.
Uh oh. Well, that's not going to work. All right, let me go get another silicone tool. I just put it back on there. <clears throat> Just wipe these off. I can see something there. Yeah, got it. So <clears throat> I'm going to let this get a little bit thicker too so that when I put the white on there, hopefully I get some good lacing. I always like to do um, the good lacing in my top coat. Um, it'll be interesting to see if I get some good lacing because this is definitely thinner than what I'm used to. So, we'll see. I have the bottoms of these taped up so if it I'm hoping that they it stays on the top but um, I do have it taped in case they do go over the edge to get a new table lamp. I have one here, but it was working and all of a sudden it's not. So maybe it just needs a new bulb. Um, I'll have to have my husband check that. Doesn't take a standard bulb. trying to be careful because I don't want it to go over the edge if it doesn't have to. Let me use my finger. Yeah, so being without a light here, it's hard to see where it's going. Yeah, so I've heard really good things about this <coughs> platinum 360 and they're Australian based and 
Des. He's the owner and the maker of this resin. And very, very, very nice guy. So I was thrilled when he asked me if I wanted to do this. So, and I have had many people asking if I was gonna be carrying it before I even knew. Everybody else seemed to know me for me. So let me get a napkin real quick. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna let it sit there for just a, just a little bit. Let me um, wipe up this. <clears throat> I did seal this cement. <clears throat> All right, and um, while that's doing that, let's do this starfish here. Okay, um, all right. So I'm pouring clear over this part. I wanna put the glass glitter down like I did in the blue one. Gosh, I hope this thing keeps recording because I normally do my iPad. And um, instead I decided to use my phone. Um, putting in the the glass glitter it's heavier so it will sink and it'll stay in place better than regular glitter and it just looks extra sparkly this glass glitter I think I poured a little bit too much I'm going to take some of it out. And now I'm pouring the orange in.
Sometimes they float up to the top, but they go right back down. Sometimes they just need a little help. Got some little seahorses over here. Oh, I forgot there's little bitty little pinholes at the bottom of this mold. Should have poured that in first and then <clears throat> All right, I'm going to go. Actually, I have some right here. I'm going to add some glitter in there for this last one. This is the sparkling red wine. Thank you. 
this one got a little bit too full. Just wipe some of this out. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to move some of these real quick. this over here too. Let me zap it real quick. I see a couple air bubbles. this real quick. Alright, let's see what this is doing. So this is where you should get really good lacing is when you pour it on top of white. And um, I had really good lacing on this one that's under here, this bottom coat. But because, and I knew this, but whenever you're pouring into uh, <clears throat> any kind of depth of resin, like a mold, and this was in a mold, you won't get that lacing. It's too deep. So it needs to be in um, like a top coat, very thin resin. This resin looks like it's going to be wonderful for floral coasters because I can see it. <clears throat> I can see it already moving in there. All right, let's see how that goes.
No, oh, no, my plastic. Can you see it? Oh my goodness. All right, let me go get my torch. You know what? I kind of like that wispiness. I'm going to try something here. This is another trick of if you want to get some lacing. Can you see it opening up? It's got some nice lacing there. I would have went longer, but <laughs> You saw what it did to my my plastic wrap. I like the wispiness of these waves. I don't think this should have big waves in it. It's such a small piece and if you went by proportion size there, you're not gonna have big lacy waves right there. So I'm gonna leave it like that. <clears throat> Unless I can move them. I'm gonna throw this away.
you hit it just once. All right, we'll see how that goes. Check these out in the morning. Night. Good morning, everybody. I am getting ready to demold these molds. And I will first show you how nice these turned out. You had to see them upside down. Don't you just want to be there at that beach? <laughs> and here's the other one. Ooh, almost dropped it. Did get a couple of flakes of glitter on the top, but that's all right. It's not that noticeable. Here's the seahorses. I don't expect much out of this. I'm, you know, I was just basically testing the new resin. <clears throat> um, I really like it a lot. It didn't have very much smell to it. <clears throat> it's got a little bit of glitter in it. I just love sea creatures. All of them. Yeah, this is, you know, I just poured this last night. This is, you know, a lot of times you'll use a resin and um, it'll still be soft the next morning. You know, it'll be semi-cured, but it, it will be flimsy and everything. This is hard. And this resin is very uh, heat resistant. I want to say it was 85 Celsius and it came out to, oh gosh, I put it on the website, maybe a hundred and something um, Fahrenheit. <clears throat> now there's a little starfish. I did put some um, abalone shell in there. I was originally going to pour these blue and I wanted to do the one in orange but I wanted to do this one in blue but anyway 
so they don't really I mean you can see them in there but and yes this light does work I don't know can you see them <clears throat> it's, you know it's nothing great let's see how this one turned out you know how pretty I thought I put too much glass glitter in there. It's so smooth. I just absolutely love this mold. On the side here, this is from Juliart84 on Instagram. She does amazing um, molds. And I couldn't tell you, <laughs> I should actually get all my molds that I've purchased from her and line them up and I don't think I have a table big enough for it but anyway um, this mold is absolutely wonderful and then she's got these little um, like little gem things along the side here um, I have some good catch from when I did a, a this blue one no not this blue one I did another blue one. It was lighter colored. But they have this little, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with them, but um, I'm sure I'll come up with something. That's upside down. But anyway, that that's just some little extras there on her mold. Maybe I'll do those. Oh, it, maybe this one does have some of the opal I have crushed opal on my website <clears throat> I think that's what this is I was playing around anyway um, so there you go I think that's it so I really really love the way these turned out let me grab one of the stands these are the can you see it they're clear clear acrylic stands that I bought um, to include in um, Christmas week's orders and um, they hold I already put this one on it before I took some pictures of it and it, it holds quite a bit um, this is concrete on the bottom so it's pretty heavy let me get that and there you go um, it fits nicely with tiles. Um, this is a pretty big piece here. It's pretty thick. So I have been doing things. I just haven't been videoing them. This one has some dried flowers in it. Um, I've got this project going on. I'll tell you about this one. You know, we make the dragon eggs. And... Um, so this one's gonna be different. I don't know if you can see in there, but I put sand on the bottom and then I put this piece of wood in there. And this wood, you won't be able to see it until I actually pour it and unmold it. But it has um, little holes in it and I made little fish. And can you see? There's little fish going in and out of the holes. And then um, I have some shells at the bottom. And so, yeah. So, I'm going to pour this with some deep cast and then unmold it. And I won't shape this one. It'll just be this shape of this um, container, sour cream container. We go through a lot of sour cream in our house. This is from Costco. Anyway. I'm excited to see this one done. So, I actually just put a little bit of um, chameleon pigment around some of that wood on the outside. So, I'm curious how that'll look. But anyway, I see one, two, three, four, four fish. And I also put the little glass, I call them baubles. They're little, tiny little glass beads. Uh, that are iridescent they're real glass and um so i put some along and you can't see them but along 
right above the fish. So it looks like air bubbles coming up. So yeah, can't wait to see that. <clears throat> so when we get that finished, um, I will maybe just show the actual item. Um, if you're interested and you want me to show you how to actually do one of those, um, you can let me know in the notes. Um, and that's it. So I would just like to take this time to thank everybody for all their support um, that they've given to me and my small business, uh, me and my husband. We just do this on the side. We both have full-time jobs. Um, I know when people email me, I, I have three email accounts. So a personal, a business, and a work email that I have to keep up with. I have two Facebook pages I have to keep up with. Actually, sometimes a third one. <clears throat> I have an Instagram account. And so I have, I send stuff to promoters and um, they promote my products. So I have to keep up on all those social medias. Um, so yes, as soon as I get your emails, um, I usually respond to you the same day depending, you know, what time or when you send me the email. <clears throat> but yeah, um, everybody has always been happy with it. Um, they always tell me, oh gosh, thanks for replying so quickly and everything. So I really appreciate working with customers. Um, I've worked with customers in one aspect or another all my life, really. So um, anyway, oh, let me show you this real quick. <clears throat> Hope that's not too loud. I'm gonna have to edit the video. This was the leftover white. It's funny because by the time I got done and I looked at the minutes on the video and it was like 40 minutes. So, and I already had my resin not mixed, but it was together in the cup. So when I was all done with pouring these, I was gonna go ahead and use the leftover resin, um, but it was getting, too hard in the in the cup so you want to make sure that you you go the um you know the 30 30 minutes is standard but i took the white that i had left over and i i poured it on this butcher paper i had laying laying here on the table and then i sprinkled glitter on it so let's see if i can get this off um let me move some stuff around. I wonder what I could. If I had a spatula, that would work really good. I'll just use my fingers. And I'm going to be very gentle because these are, I just drizzled. So they're really super fine little drizzles. And then I sprinkled some of the stiletto glitter on it. I'm trying to be gentle with this. Let me keep it intact. But yeah, I mean, most resins I've seen will break when you do this. Especially as fine as I did them. That one's a little... So there you go. Wouldn't that, oh look at there. Almost looks like a butterfly at the end of this one. Can you see it? Let's see if I can put something dark. Anyway, um, yeah, it almost looks like a snowflake or something. Look at that, that glitter. Can you see it? It's just so sparkly. And I have an A colors, so you should check those out. Really, really pretty, sparkly. Hope it shows up here. <clears throat> glitter is the hardest thing to photograph. As I'm speaking, I'm getting glitter falling out of my gloves. Um, but yeah, 
I don't know. I could probably do something with this. And put it in a piece of art. Anyway, don't, don't, um, you should try putting some of this, uh, just anything as far as texture. I love texture in a painting. And, um, so when you got leftover resin and you're done with the molds, you know, just drizzle it. I love it. I have some other ones that maybe I'll show in the next video that absolutely were my favorite color combo. It was pink, gold, and white. And boy, was that pretty. All right. Thank you, everybody. Um, just remember, always be kind. Um, I try to mention that in every video. Um, there's way too much hate in this world, and we need to stop that. We need to be nice to everybody and make this a happy place for us to live in. So, all right. Have a great New Year's and a prosperous one. Bye now.